Akira is all stuff. Huh? How we Akira is all stuff? Because we're two living people that cook all the time and do things and live in a house. Could you do that as an Yes. Because <laughs> you see having things as a bad thing. I do. Which is not right. Morning. Day two of the move. Um, it's the 28th today, I think. Oh, wow. I look rough. Um, today, we're going over this morning. We didn't end up doing another run last night, um, but we're going over with just as much stuff as we could throw in the boot. I think this is mostly kitchen stuff. Um, and then my mum and my sister are coming to help us pull the carpets up and clean and do all those bits. So that's what we're doing today. And then tomorrow is van day and moving the bulk. So we'll be there from tomorrow night. So it's all really exciting. But today, yeah, we just need to get it painted and ready to have it. So yeah, painting, cleaning, the huge, all the fun stuff, but one step closer. Okay, I realized I should do an empty house tour. So front door, obviously you come in and then we've got this hallway, this horrible staircase, which is gonna go eventually. That goes upstairs, obviously. And then you walk in here. I just realized there's left the mirrors. Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> This is our living space. So we're gonna have the big table here and then TV on the wall here and a sofa here. I'm trying not to show out the window because then, you know. <laughs> and then under here, we've just got like a big storage cupboard. Whoop. Oh, it's so warm in there. <laughs> so I might leave that open actually so some air gets out. And then this is our kitchen. It's like so fine for the moment, but it's just not my like perfect kitchen. So I think eventually we're either just going to replace these with a nice wood one. Uh, I don't mind the tiles and then replace this. Or my thing is potentially we could rip the whole kitchen out. Um, just because I find this space so irritating. I wish that was a flat wall because I'd want open shelving and then the fridge having to be there is really irritating. And also like this situation, like it's really annoying. So maybe we could turn the fridge. Yeah. Okay. And then you come up the stairs. I can't believe we have stairs. <laughs> and then this room in here is, oh, that's just Kim struggling. This room in here is gonna be Kim's like office slash our spare room. So we're gonna rip the carpets up today, hopefully. And then he's gonna have his desk there. And then we've got a sofa bed to go here. And then he's gonna have his TV and all that crap in there. That's the Star Wars room. And then this is our bedroom. So originally the bed was here, but I actually think now we might put the bed there. So we're just thinking about it. And then you come out and then this is my office. It's actually, it's a, it's a little room, but it will do. Carpets are coming up, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, But yeah, this is my little office. I'm going to have a big rail along the back with a curtain to cover it. Desk going to go there and hopefully keep it quite free. And then this is the bathroom, which again, I hate, but it's so fine. Um, so yeah, it's got a window, which I'm so funny about windows in bathrooms. Lovely big shower, which is great. Um, obviously all this and good storage and stuff. So we'll get the old, oh, it's very thin. Um, and then in this weird cupboard here, is the washing machine. So for now, we're gonna leave everything as is, but the plan eventually was to knock all this bathroom out and put a bath in here and move it all around. But then this is just so annoying. So we'd have to redo the entire kitchen to move this downstairs. So it's either we decide that we do it all or we do none of it. The big reveal. Yeah, okay, you do the big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. So I completely fooled George into thinking we had a weird no, multi-coloured multi concrete floor. <laughs> underlay, underlay. But we have lovely floorboards. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah, I moved the cupboard up. Where are spices going? I don't know. <laughs> what time is it? Down and try and get this whole room done. 
Yeah. You have it on all the walls, Egyptian cotton. Yeah. Are they all taped up? No, just be really, really careful. We're getting it on the floor behind you. Okay. Are you doing this one uh -huh. That's right, you Yeah, I'll score the verification now. Oh, I've done it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Yeet! Get that under there. Under there. Oh. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy with them. Stairs, yeah, though, it's yeah. nice stairs. It's not MDF boxes. I thought it was going to be like a big MDF display. So, George, what are your plans for the stairs? Sleep on them. <laughs> That's where Kim's. That's a proper step, isn't it? Come yeah. this side. Oh. Hi. Push it all to one side, cover it in huge dust sheet. You have to move, yeah. I am exhausted. Come home to a luxury dinner. I had a shower and scrubbed all the paint off. I didn't wash my hair though, so I've got freckly hair. Now I'm going to watch In Between Us too, And literally, uh, my back hurts so much. I'm just going to do nothing and have a glass of wine and then go to bed and do it all over again tomorrow. It's 10 pm. I just absolutely CBA. I am so tired, my whole body hurts. <laughs> Help. Oh my gosh, day 427 of moving. I look as good as I feel. No, I feel as good as I look. We, um, we're going to pick up a zip van now. Oh my God, my eyes are streaming. Um, yeah, I've never driven a zip van before, or is it car? So it's gonna be new. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I don't even know how to pick it up. They haven't sent me my my card yet. So I'm hoping, I think it pops up on the app. Otherwise we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, moving is so stressful. And like, it's, it's a weird thing. Like I said to Kim, like, if you're super money, like I always think, oh God, if you have a huge like six bedroom mansion somewhere, how would you even begin to pack that up? But then I'm like, no, you don't. You just get movers and you just stand there and you dictate. But the reality of us spending a further like £500 to move us was just not going to happen. It never has. I've always done it by myself. Obviously with like help from family. But luckily my family are really good and they really muck in. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, it's hard work. Especially when you've got ME and two businesses to run and also just terrible joints i'm in so much pain i've got a heat patch at the bottom of my back um which i think helped a little bit and i slept with it on and then also my shoulder still it's definitely i've got more movement in it but oh my god it hurts so much but yeah it's just all a bit of a schlep really but it was so worth it but basically now anyway I'll finish my story we're going to pick up the van gonna come back to ours load the van with all soft and light stuff and the hoover because although we bought the dice i'm worried about breaking it so we're gonna take the henry over and just go absolutely nuts and hoover everywhere and mop everywhere so that at least when we move the big stuff in we can just push it into its place and not have to worry i think all the painting should be done but we did find out yesterday that we bought really cheap paint we bought leyland trade paint just to let you know don't buy it um it just went on like water it was just trash so um We've kept one big 10 litre drum of it unopened, so we're going to return that and swap it for a, a pot of Dulux, like one coat paint, just to do any last minute bits that need touching up because, yeah, it was just crap. And then we've done the living space in Egyptian cotton, but we've left room for the dado rail, which we're going to add in. So the moment's really wonky, so we need to go over it all and neaten it all up. Um, and yeah, it's just a little bit of a, a bit of a mish, but we will get there. Got my zip van. Never done this before. It literally, I pressed a button on the app and it unlocked it. My co driver who can't drive. Yeah. Uh... 
I think the guy might be here, by the way, if anyone wants to know. That was broken. That looks bent, or is it like that? It might be slightly bent, so it's fine. It won't no, there's a few of them like that. So, what do you have to do? I need... Do you actually know how to do it? Because if you don't, it's fine. Do you want to do it or not? Do you know how to do it? Do you, would you like me to do it? Do you know how to do it, is the question. Would you, would you like your dad to do it? Do it? Do Should it? we turn the reins off? What do I do? Just flip the thing on the... All the fuses down. All that team on, Bruno Fernandes. Uh, do the living Come on, you assist. So dark. It's quarter to five. We've done... It's 4am in the Big Brother house. Is it this the third or the second? It's only a second van load, isn't it? Third. Is it? Yeah, we did uh, junk. Oh, Not yeah. junk, we did like clothes and then we did... So this is load stuff. three of the day and then the van's got to go back soon. So we're just going to run this back to the new house. We've got, we've made progress. It's still definitely not quite livable, but we're getting there. Wait, but what's that noise that it just made? Oh, it just, it, click, it clicks into position. Just. Nothing. Just uh, taking you through the lazy Susan. <laughs> I don't know if that looks a bit messy. I can spread them out a bit more. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking maybe tuck one over and then down here. Oh yeah, see that one's better. Maybe we should swap shelves because that's the kind of stuff you're going to need more, no? This? Yeah. Yeah, but these, we can stack these high. I love that we're spending so much time on this with the rest of the house. Still looks like this. So I'll catch you up to where we got to. So basically, we're in the living room now. We yesterday, I can't remember if I showed you, but we painted the bottom half of the walls with Egyptian cotton. Um, and basically, we're going to install a dado rail. So that's why it's all messy and not equal. Because uh, we're going to put a picture rail around the whole of the edge of the room. Obviously, that's going ASAP. Um, also, these curtains are giving me the worst kind of vibes. Um, but yeah, we got our dining table in and we're so excited about it. So that's just there and looking amazing. And then these four chairs are actually going to be our garden chairs, but we've got them for now while we wait until we can get the Charles, um, I can't speak, the wishbone chairs basically. Um, and then this is our huge, amazing light. It's John Lewis. And then we're going to have it hanging like quite low over the table. The only thing is, this isn't central to the table, so we're going to have to put a hook so it can drape. God, those curtains. Um, at the moment, we have this black unit, which we were thinking maybe of using like almost uh, lengthways, like as a sort of room divider, maybe. But actually, with the, oh, shit. we're thinking it would go quite well here. Let me zoom out. We think it would go quite well here. Um, just to kind of have something there, because otherwise it's sort of dead space. Um, but yeah, you might realise that we swapped the side of the sofa and the TV because my dad just thought it was a good idea and whatever, it's done now. So we're going to mount the TV on the wall and then we've got our um, IKEA unit still for now. Put the rug down already. I've taken all the covers off because they needed washing. So yeah, we're all lean. Uh, that's the chair I'm going to reupholster. Um, and then we are sleeping here tonight. I'll show you upstairs. But there's a lot to do. So I think we're just going to try and stay up and crack through some of it. So yesterday we ripped all the carpets up up here. It gets really echoey, doesn't it? And um, we were going to rip the stairs up because I thought these were just going to be like MDF boxes because I thought it's just the style of the house. It's not going to be nice. But we figured they're actually nice wooden stairs. So eventually we're going to lift all the carpet, have all this sandy bat and then have a nice jute runner running down it. Um, so yeah, we're all stripped back. Kim's little room, this is being painted blue at some point. And then our bedroom is a mess. Um, but finally, my beautiful mid-century uh, John and Sylvia stag dresser can have a nice wall to look great on. Is that chipped? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, our bed, we've left the bolts at the old house. So we're going to sleep on the floor tonight. And then my office is a bit chaotic at the moment. Basically, I don't have my wardrobes through yet. So... <laughs> This is how it's looking. I love the rug though, I'm really pleased with the rug. The rug was Asda, 80 quid, I'm really pleased with it. 
Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's job is picking out all the beading around the edge of the floor because obviously it's really bloody spiky. So yeah, we're getting there. sandwich on my teeth no <laughs> we've just got to the dump in Wandsworth this is the best dump I've ever been to in my mind as a kid a dump was just like you just drove in there was a car everywhere and just like those big like giant skips and you had to climb up the steps and throw the stuff over the top this is organized into numbers and you pull into the bay of the number of the thing you're getting rid of so like bay 11 for us is carpet so we're getting rid of all the carpet can't believe it I'm so impressed Anyway, I'm not, well, I am allowed out of the car, I'm just not getting out of the car. I'm so impressed with this dump. Whee! <laughs> These cue barriers, what did they think was going to happen right now? What have we become? It's a lot. <laughs> You're going to have to get a cab home. Long. Final stop of the tour. Oh, this one, no, these are quite small, aren't they? Oh, so disappointing. I want that tree. I don't know, they, this is not the ones they have. <laughs> we thought if we'd got everything else, we may as well just throw a tree in as well. So there is a Christmas tree in there, all leaning on my new, very expensive 90 pound mirror. So hopefully it doesn't break, but yeah. I, Kim's now had to get the bus, train, train home. Um because <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna very carefully drive home now and then take as much in as I can and see how we get on I've just decided that I'm gonna film an Ikea haul as soon as Kim gets in because there's too much look at the state of this house I just feel like we're not getting anywhere I mean we absolutely are at least we can sit on the sofa now but jeez Kim's just put our shelves up in the kitchen we always wanted open shelving in here but the wall's got this annoying dip, so we've, we've gone for the little shelves. Um, it kind of, they're a bit deep, but the options were this deep or half the width, which weren't deep enough. So now we need to style them. At b and again. The limbo. This is great, but is that for anything? Oh. Um, I've just done another B and Q trip. Spent more money. Um, oh, this is on me. I feel like we're going to be doing moving blocks until like 2027. <laughs> this is an ongoing series because I don't think we're ever going to be done. Hmm. Fine. Problematic. Let's, let's go. I'm, I'm All done. right, okay. Yeah, we're going home now. Um, I did want to go to Dunelm and see if they had any Christmas decorations, which was a bit of a long trip. Right, let's go home. I'm done. Okay.